Welcome back, everybody, to the further adventures of Agatha Fisty and her idiot dog, who is not here at the moment. That's fine. He has trouble with elevators. It's it's a whole it's a whole deal. We are uh, we're at the end game here. Um, see the institute over there ish, and uh, I think we're about to blow it up, which is great. I have not actually beaten Fallout Four prior to this, so uh, I'm curious to, to see how this goes. How you feeling, Preston? <clears throat> Here's the detonator. Sturges figured this was a safe distance outside the blast radius. Oh, we're trusting Sturges, are we? see humanity's best hope for the future go up in smoke? Just hit that button. Well, when you put it like that, Preston, it does sound a little stupid, but sure. All right. Uh, here we go. Oh, the thing flipped up, but I have to actually... All right, here we are. And... Explosions! Yo. I, holy crap. Fairly certain we would be knocked flat on our ass by that shockwave. I can feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This was not the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I, I hoped I could find my family. Cheat time, make us whole again, the way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. But the road ahead will be hard. This time I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. You know, that was cool, I guess. I don't know who that lady Holy was. Holy shit. That was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. I absolutely do not remember if I did that or not, so... I did. But there's no way to know how many people got out. I'm sure most everyone got out. Remember, we didn't start this war. I hate that we had to do that. But they left us no choice. It was war. But now, the war against the Institute Stop saying war. is over. The way is now clear for the Commonwealth to finally come together and build something good for the future. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows from here on out. What? No sunshine and rainbows? Next you're gonna tell me I'm not getting a pony. <laughs> if I had any ponies to hand out, you'd be first on my list. Ponies. We could never have gotten here without you, General. The Institute was the most insidious threat we've ever faced. They kept the Commonwealth divided for centuries. But there are plenty of other problems left to deal with. I don't think the Minutemen are gonna be out of a job for a long time yet. As much as I might wish it. 
Another settlement needs your help. We deserve to enjoy our victory, but soon enough, it's gonna be time to get back to work. Level up, level up. Well, okay. So th that end cutscene was cool, but I don't know who that lady in it was, because she was like wearing sensible clothes and using power armor, and Sanctuary looked nothing like my Sanctuary. It's weird that they like pre-rendered that whole thing. Wow, the XP's still going. Whoa, two levels at once. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. I guess I keep talking to hey. Preston. General, I think it's time to deal with the Brotherhood. Oh, excuse me? I agree. But it's going to be tough to fight their airship. That's for sure. But I think I may have a way to take it out. Is it kill everyone on board? Because I've already done that. An artillery strike against the Bridwin. Oh. The trick is, we need to target it from multiple directions. To overwhelm their defenses. Sturgis figures... That if we can attack from at least five different directions, we have a good chance of bringing it down. Once we have enough batteries set up, we can fire them all together at the airship. They won't have time to take evasive action. With any luck, that will be the end of the Brotherhood and the Commonwealth. Yep, Preston, put the gun away. Thank you. Okay, that sounds sweet. Uh, yeah, let's, let's blow the Pridwin out of the sky. I mean, there's no one alive on it anymore. But I guess we can... The Institute didn't leave us any choice, General. It was us or them. You don't need to explain it to me, Preston. I'm all in for blowing up the Institute. Um, excuse me a moment. <laughs> Hell yeah. Blitz level two. Increase distance. You know what we should also do is just get more damage. We should just get <laughs> level two of bloody mess for just 10% more damage. Let's do it. We are going to be a absolute, just a being of destruction. The Institute should have just kept themselves down in their little underground paradise. I, yeah, that would have been smart. Then we wouldn't have had to blow them up. Hey, can I see the boat from here? Still don't understand what the Institute Preston, I'm not listening to you anymore unless I am required to. Hey, there it is. Hey, friends. I don't think I can jump there from here. All right, so... Perhaps anticlimactic, because we did just blow up a big thing and get the end cutscene of the game. And make a big hole. <laughs> but... We're not done. That's not the finale. There's more to this episode, because... There's a couple things that I need to check off my list. And then apparently Preston has more work for us. So the first thing we're going to do, if I can remember where it is, is we're going to head to somewhere around... somewhere around here. Because Fisty has a list of grudges. Now, I don't recall exactly where I, this is that I'm looking for, but I think it's this way. Anyway, I had expected this episode to be somewhat of a victory lap for Agatha. I didn't think that the literal first thing that happened would be sort of the endgame cutscene, but that's fine. Now, somewhere around here... an enemy in this building. Oh, just raiders. Alright, well, I mean, I'll... Oh. On the other side. Okay, well, then I guess I can't... Oh, stop it. When I finally get in there, it's gonna go very badly for you. Aha. Perfect. Oh my god. Oh, Fissy's just a killing machine now. Hello. Is there other people I can target around here? Oh, hey. Alright, so you, you ought not have done that. Oh, I hear it. There's another one around, apparently. 
Hey, dog meat. Can you just get out of the way? Thank you. Now... Uh, oh, wait, that's a... Look, I have a checklist that I've been compiling since the earlier episodes, and I'm trying to deal with it. But I inadvertently... Hi. I mean, I wouldn't. Thank you for the stim pack, though. How'd that guy get on the sign? It's kind of impressive. Don't really see the benefit of being up here, so... I wonder if I can survive the fall. Oh, yeah, if I land on this dead guy's flayed corpse, uh, I'll probably um, be able to... Oh, well, that worked, too. I'm not going to dance around it anymore. The OGs will recall that somewhere, well, not here, obviously, because I have never been here before, somewhere around here, somewhere around here on the streets of Boston is a big-ass Yaogwai who caused me much consternation in an earlier episode. And I'm here to find them and deal with it. Oh, not here. I don't know what that is, and I'm gonna just let those people keep worshipping their tire fire. Stand by while I look this up, Adam. Meanwhile, at the palace of King Poseidon, ruler of the Seven Seas. <laughs> Definitely the biggest issue I'm having is retracing my steps to, well, I guess I was here at one point, to where on earth <laughs> this stupid Yaogwai is. Wait, I hear something. Is that dog meat? That's just dog meat being dog meat. That's not a bear or a Yaogwai or whatever. Or a ghoul. I think it's in this direction. Right, because I hid in that house at one point. Man, <laughs> really going out of our way to settle this one particular grudge against an animal. Aha! Where are you? You were right around here. Bear, 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 bear. Oh. Okay. I absolutely did not expect that to be the result. <laughs> um. I guess we, uh, I guess we count this. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, Dogmeat found something, did he? Dogmeat, where are you? Hi, what's this? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a thing here. There's an armor station and all kinds of stuff. Well, okay. I mean, kind of a letdown, but I guess we'll chalk this one up as a win. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. All right, I waited for a daylight so that we could get a <laughs> good look at <laughs> our friend. Ah, defeated by the game itself. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, well, uh, what was next on our list? Well, back at General Atomics Galleria. General Atomics Galleria remains closed by order of the director. Ah, closed by order of the director. Well, then. Did you have any other questions? I did have a question, actually. Who's the director? General Atomics Patented Director Management System, DMS, 
is responsible for coordinating the actions of the robots here at the Galleria. The director, you say? Well, I am going to be paying the director a visit. Be on the lookout for thieves, trespassers, and communists! I'm definitely one of those. Prob probably two. I don't know, maybe all three. F around and find out. Who knows? Hey, what's up, director? I'm back. Hold it right there. Holding it. I've been monitoring your approach. Uh-huh. Impressive. Very impressive. Mm. For a low-life criminal! That's me. Well, the Mafia wasn't accepting applications, but I do my best. That's just what a commie spy would say. Smug bastards. Just what are you up to? Who are you working for? I want answers! Wait, the grand reopening? Are you grand reopening Supervisor 18 Alpha? You're late. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. Manual authorization of the grand reopening requires authentication. So I'm going to need to see your ID, sir. Mm. Nah. I don't have to show you anything. Unacceptable! The Galleria is closed! You are warned! You're gonna love it. <laughs> Terrific! Huh. Steel! I'm gonna need steel for all those friggin' artillery I apparently have to build. It'll be great. I'll use steel from the director to build the artillery to blow up the Pridwin. It's perfect. Who is... Alright, hang on. Great. Who's next? God, the distances I'm able to cross. of steel actually this is great oh I should eat something more blood mmm tasty still not gonna eat that paste I'm still very suspicious of that paste I could eat an egg oof a little radioactive but that's fine do you have steel Oh, you got like bullets and stuff, and a circuit board, and yeah, steel, good. Hello. Wham! Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Ah, oh, delightful. Feels good to be checking all these things off my list now. Those who have been watching since the OG will recall that also on my list was Parson State Insane Asylum. Now, I've looked it up because I wanted to be sure, and you don't get in there until the end of a side quest line. So, we've got to take a quick trip back to Diamond City. Well, you look creepy. You have marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. This better be an emergency. What? Why are you? Not today. Let me know if that changes. You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. Can everyone stop talking to me for like a few seconds? All right, I need to go to uh the dugout. I, every single thing here is baseball themed. Where is the bar? This way? Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus. Oh, wow. You're tall. Sure am. Ah, the dugout inn. Here we are. Inside the inn. Redeem, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yetim. I am in middle of story. 
So then, I am crossing river. Even though I'm a doctor, I admit I have a small place. A the quick most drink after work. Of all sea monsters. A mire lurk. A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Redeem! God, did you see that explosion? I forgot you were there. The yet. old CIT ruins there. What is it? It's just a big crater. You know now. what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. A death claw is where the real danger is. Don't try to outrun it. Just be something solid between you and it, then pray. Who are all of you people and why are you talking to me? Oh, a customer. Need a room? Uh, no. I don't think so. Have a good day. I prefer to go to the dugout inn. Sure, I can afford the tap house. Hey, what's going to happen all the sense, you know, if the Institute's you. really gone? Don't know. With any luck, they'll all just break down at some point. No, I like that people are actually discussing the big thing that I did. Hey, you're that vault dweller from the paper. That's me. The Minutemen are looking out for us. Glad someone in the Commonwealth finally cares. Yeah, yeah, we're doing we're doing the thing. That's great. Um, none of you were the person who was supposed to give me this quest line, so I got to go to a different place. Oh, while I'm here, do you have stim packs? Got some good deals. You won't believe what's in the is it food or not section. Is it stim packs? Let's see what you got. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Great. All of those, please. That'll do. Now, somewhere in Good Neighbor is a different other bar. Ah, the third rail. Perfect. So, the big kaboom hits old CIT. I hope the stories are true and the Institute got what was coming to them. They did! Hey there. I heard you walk that freedom trail. What, you some kind of, what do they call it? History buff? I mean, walking the freedom trail is not that interesting or exciting. It's a, anybody can do that. It's not even that far. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Thanks, ham. You saw that big explosion over at CIT? They say that's where the Institute got started. Hey! <clears throat> you there. We need to have a conversation. Great. Let's hear it. You may remember shooting up a place called Parson State Insane Asylum. I do a remember place that. that. happens to be owned by my boss. Oh, that's awkward. I shoot up a lot of places. I can't remember them all. The guards sure remember you. The ones that are still breathing. But I don't hold any of that against you. Part of the cost of doing business these days. I took the trouble of tracking you down because I'm always looking for people that can handle themselves in dangerous situations. Seems like you may fit the bill. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Another one of you works He's in the back room. I heard you were in a shootout the other day. Nah, you know how affairs go. Sooner or later, someone gets jealous. And someone Why do I need to talk to McCready? Who is everyone just talking to me about stuff? God, I love this song. Anyway, I don't actually need to talk to McCready. You need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen. Hotel Rexford. He'll hook you up. Okay. Who's McCready anyway? I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. 
I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? Hey now. What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with Good Neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Hey, can you can you not stop that? All right. Well, you seem to have this all under control, so goodbye. I don't need to involve myself in that. Hello. Neat. Ah, yes, the intercom. Be advised, you are being watched. Thank you. Go away. <laughs> uh. Threat Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Let's go meet the boss. Who's talking? Oh, Edward, you're here. Hello, sure, let's do that. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. Uh. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Hmm. Okay, I will... Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for- Don't interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. At least not on this planet. Uh, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? You're implying there was a lost alien civilization Wait, on Earth in prehistoric times? No, he's not. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. <laughs> We're just gonna watch Jack slowly go back up the stairs. I don't know why the camera is still tracking him, because he's not who I'm talking to. Yep. Keep on following him. Goodbye. Tick tock. That was... Interesting. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. 
You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Yeah, you... Parsons? <laughs> yes, There's I'm an aware. important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I was all set when I walked in here. Well then, get going already. Is it going to be awkward talking to Maria since I, like, killed all of her employees? Is that... Oh, you're back. Hi. You... How are you doing that? This man's learned how to float. Uh, I won't steal your whiskey. Hi. Can it wait? I was just in the middle of something. Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Was there anything else? Uh... What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. I'm sorry, but it really is private family business. Right. Are Agatha's not good at persuading with words. I've got to get going. All right. I just... Okay. You're a weird guy, Jack. What am I even carrying? Oh, I'm carrying a whole bunch of steel, aren't I? <laughs> uh, oh, I know what to do. Okay, hang on. I'll just head to the door and I'll... Actually, wait. I unlocked it with a key from the inside. Now, I can head to the castle. I Did I do this? These must be this must be left over from the thing I did. I'm going to laboriously wander my way to the workbench and deposit all of my steel and then I should be able to move again. Forgot I was carrying a missile launcher. There, feeling much better. Now then. Back to the asylum. Strange place to plonk me after a fast travel, but sure, here we are. Uh... Hey, so awkward this about This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Hmm. Yeah. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new girl. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. So you've just been waiting for me to show up to do something about those assholes. As far as I remember, I don't answer to you. And yeah, we were waiting for you. That's your job, to deal with unexpected problems that come up. My job is to make sure nobody gets into this place. That's true. Edward wouldn't have hired me if he thought you could have done the job. You throw in a lot of attitude for the new gal. I guess we'll see soon enough if you're just blowing smoke or not. Oh, I see you've installed some new men. Good for you. Well, north I go. Off to the creamery. Real close to the edge of the map, too. Is this where the cream is made? Hello? Why do you have a lifeboat on the side of the creamery? What happened here? there hello I oh okay I I'm sorry I thought we could have a chat perhaps but I guess not 
Oh. oh, I thought there was another person, but it's actually just this cardboard cutout. Well, that went well. Mysterious serum. Oh, good. Yes, definitely a great thing to have. Hey, bladed knuckles. Not as good as mine, but I'll take him anyway. Come on, I wanted to get the items. Ah, well, first of all, there's this crate. Got it. Can we just... I... Sorry. Can... Okay, what's happening here? Hup, and then... A one and okay, two there. Got there. Nope. Up we go. We did it. Anything around here makes screws? Because I'm going to need so many. Toy trucks have screws. Toy rocket ships do not. Toy car, though. Screws! Perfect. Empty milk bottles? Did you three drink all the cream? That's so rude. Also, it can't have been good. Surely the cream was very bad by the time you got to it. Now there is no cream for anyone. Do you think because Brahmin have two heads that they produce double cream? Nah, that's probably silly. Zoop. Hey, you got a big hole in your wall, by the way. Wait, am I even going here? No, I'm going back to Cabot House. That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your mean... Your sister is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? So did you find out what happened Edward to the courier? Edward better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Just some Again. raiders that ambushed him. I hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? All gone. Yum, yum, yum. I can't believe you don't care What's so I important do? about this serum? You're getting paid to follow orders. Your orders were to get it back. That's all you need to worry about. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Hey, Edward, do you know how to use stairs? No, you don't. Nobody around here knows how to use stairs. Wait a minute. Do I know how to use stairs? Jack. Yeah, I can use stairs. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? Ah, uh, hi. You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery hi. from Parsons. This is the got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. Yeah, I caught up. She's, uh... A little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. 
She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Weren't you just there? Okay, I'll start in Good Neighbor. Like, that's where we met. You were just there. Well, whatever, I'm gonna go bother Jack. Hi, Jack. <clears throat> hmm? What? Well, where'd your thing go? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, although only to me, unfortunately. And there aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. You have proof? Enough to satisfy me. <laughs> he only made a single expedition to the Lost City, but he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations, but with technology that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries, tools not made for human hands, carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. I like how he's good enough to satisfy me. Subtext. But then I'm incredibly gullible. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city. Buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert. Uh-huh. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. This is like since the bombs, though. How, how is travel happening? I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia? Yeah. The whole world loaned out. Thank you. Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Come on. The war was 200 years ago. You know your history. Most people don't grasp how long ago the war really was. It is an unusual situation, but... Well, it's a private family matter. That's no concern of yours. Are we done? I've got to get going. All right. So dad is either a robot or a ghoul or I don't know. Any number of strange possibilities in the world of Fallout. Oh, sorry about... Ah, uh, that's awkward. Sorry about your pool table there. Wait, where do these stairs go? Oh, hi. This whole family's just crap at stairs. Uh, Wilhelmina, are you... <laughs> are you okay? I just can't bear to think what might have happened to poor Imogene. Right, so... Not... Not okay. Alright. Well, back in Good Neighbor. Head to the third rail again. Say what up to my boy Ham. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Ham. Everyone give it up for Ham. Kids love Ham. Sweet pit boy sister. You hold on to that. It's just you. Help me, help me rescue my heart. Sounded weirdly. <laughs> He's getting <laughs> dog meat and this guy hurt. Okay, cool, he gave up. Hey, how about you? You're talking. Actually, wait, who are you? Cool. Good start. Yeah. Okay. Hey, so I hear you've been pulling your weight at the barricades. How many hits you rack up? Six last raider attack. Folks bought me so many drinks. Oh, you two are talking. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Boys. Oh, I guess I should talk to the bartender. That makes sense. Charlie. You're becoming quite a regular. Well, the beer's still Help tight. Me. Hey, sister, how are you? Holy shit. How's your belt? This is the second time I've been here, but sure. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Gal, what's a word? <laughs> Just hard stop the music. Because mm -hmm. I want to ask about oh, someone. What's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. Eh, don't love jazz, but... I just wanted to talk to you. Hmm. Well, I thought that's what we were doing. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? I appreciate that you appreciate the gains. Thank you. Me? Playing a game. First idiot who grabs my ass gets his arm broken. Ten points if he's drunk. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Magnolia, by the way, voiced by the original Wonder Woman, Linda Carter. Uh, traditionally, Fisty is very bad at charisma checks, but... I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. <laughs> it's tempting, but unfortunately, I'm married to the stage. Eh. Worth a shot. Wait. Excuse still... me, miss. Something I can do for you, gorgeous? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Mm. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane... She latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Pam! Ladies and gentlemen, appearing live now at the third rail, descending the stairs, the one, the only, Pam! No, this lady here is just looking for my jewel. Brother Thomas. Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. You're not holding well, thanks, oh, honey. Thank you. you were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. All right. Smell that? Well, off That's I go. Freedom. Pardon Toss me, Ham. The troublemakers. Keep that in mind. Ham, I promise I will never get on your bad side. I, I can't keep that promise, actually, but I don't intend to get on your bad side. Now I'm going to there. So I guess I'll just zip to vault Regional and uh, walk over to wherever that is. Alrighty. We're going to... Oh! The, oh! This place. Hello. Hello. Hi. Everyone. Welcome. But hi, hello. Excuse, excuse me. Boy, you look weird. Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. 
We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm just looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. What's she doing here? Is she a member of your... movement? Actually, she and I are... you know... romantically involved. Not that it's any of your business, but... she and I are just having a little... relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> I She's don't. not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. No offense, uh, but you know how women can get sometimes. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. Oh, no. Yeah, so you, that's not the sort of thing that you should say to Agatha Fisty. Oh, am I fighting all of you? All right. Ah, perfect. I think it's exactly what I wanted. Get the AP back. One for you. Just stand there. One for you. One for you. Ow. Hey, what the? Wow. Fisty is an absolute killing machine now. Well, Imogene, uh, I have bad news. I mean, I've got good news, but I have bad news. Well, it might not be bad news. You might not consider this bad news, actually. How? I guess I go around back? Oh, okay. I guess I could have just... gone in there. Uh, I suppose I needed the key that he had. Oh, that door was open. Uh, hi. You must be Emma Jean. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? <clears throat> I was expecting someone a bit... younger. How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It really isn't any of your business. And I know it was Jack who sent you. He's always trying to control me. It wasn't Jack. It was your mother who wanted you found. I'm fine, as you can see. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first, but after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. I hope you weren't too... attached to Thomas. I was done with him, and he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Okay. You're a weird lady. Beer? Ah, lovely. Oh, you might not want to go around that corner. Yeah. Well, all right then. Back to Cabot House. Edward, are you there? Damn, the signal is strangely weak. Oh Edward, my god, it's happening. Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? 
empty now. How's this? Oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? That seems bad. Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah! There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Uh, hi. Who are you again? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Amagene. She's fine. Oh, yes. Good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the could, undiluted Could one serum, of you talk to me at once? Explain their unusual success against Edward's men. Whatever. Let's get going. Right, right. It's probably not important anyway. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have created an extraordinarily dangerous situation. I'm the only one who understands how to deal with these dangers. Is that clear enough for you? Okay. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. I don't need anything right now, thank you. I wasn't talk. Okay, sure. Well, I have everything I'll need for a serious battle in that I have my fists. You're just gonna... I'll let you... Thanks. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Briefly glitched out and got trapped in the building for a few minutes there. Ready? Let's go. You should know what we're going to be dealing with. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. Aziz, light! Aziz, light. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Are we running the whole way there? Hey there. Come on. We need to find out what's happening at Parsons. It's not close, you know. Do I actually have to run with you the, the entire way? Okay. Lorenzo so dangerous. I'm sure his psychosis would be cured if it could be removed. But so far, all my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly with his nervous system. So we are actually just going to run the entire way there. Where are you going to go here? Okay. We're going up and around and over. Hey, look, it's Bunker Hill. This is not a good route, my guy. 
I guess I could skip ahead, but... You may have guessed by now that my family and I have lived for a very long time, thanks to the serum derived from my father's blood. I discovered the alterations to his blood in some of my earliest attempts to remove the artifact. Oh, it's I eventually isolated the anomalous company. Still use. I'm well aware of the apparent conflict of interest in my father being the source of the treatment that is prolonging my own life. But I assure you that if I had the chance, I would gladly give it all up to have my father back, even for a short time. Okay. Anything further? Because, I mean, that sounds like hooey, but... You certainly seem to... have some sort of de-aging serum, so, I mean, I guess I believe you. I mean, there are literal space aliens in Fallout, so it's not that unbelievable. Dog meat, you are really good at getting in the way. Jack, if I sprint, uh, would it be... Would you keep up? Like, if I do that, do you... No, you do not go faster. Dog meat, what'd you find? What? What is it? How are you standing like that? Okay, I have no idea what you found, so I'm just gonna ignore it. I feel like I could fast travel at this point. He doesn't seem to be giving me any new information. How far are we? I mean, I guess we're only about halfway there. Wow. You can, you can really move. This is my jogging speed and I'm way faster than you. Would you be offended if I ran ahead? No? Alright. Just... Oh, well... I guess I should stick with you just in case of... terrible mire lurks. Hey, who are you? Oh, Miniman! Hey, what's up? I'll never understand why the Institute didn't just leave us alone. The Institute should have just kept to themselves, down in their little underground paradise. I... I agree with you. We sure showed those Institute bastards, didn't we, General? We did. Well, look at all this. Who's firing? That's probably my guy. You've been distracted by something to shoot at. Oh, he seems fine. He's pretty spry for a... How old are you? Oh, hey, who's this? Dangerous world out there. Good thing, too. Otherwise, no business for doctors, am I right? Could use some supplies, actually. I got loads of stim packs, chems, you name it. Oh, where have you been all my game? Stim packs. These blood packs as well. Pleasure doing business with you, Doc. Yes, moo to you, too. What? Where? Oh. I'll help out with these horrifying radiation pups. This time. Alright. Uh oh. Jack? Oh no! These guys! I remember these guys! They never got added to the list, but... Oh no! Alright! Well this is fine actually. Ow. Well, this was very unintended, but it actually uh, works out well. Yeah, I spent most of an episode trying to get these guys. Huh, that was good. That's like some 
added catharsis. Just need to quickly eat all the food. Don't think I can yet eat the synthetic gorilla meat. As tempting as that is. Hmm, the slog. This place sounds lovely, but we're just going to keep on going. Because, J Jack, keep going. We're going to keep on going. Thank you. Look, if you're not committed to this bit, then I'm certainly not going to be. Great place to go for a swim. I feel like the game doesn't necessarily intend you to actually... Whoa! Okay, Jack, you can't just aggro a Deathclaw like that. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Um. Oh, no. Well... Um... Okay, so... Fisty slightly phased out of this plane of existence for like a moment there. And I'm not entirely sure <laughs> how that happened. But, uh, that was amazing. All right, carrying on. Boy, this episode has everything. <laughs> Floating bears, phasing through the ground, dog meat. Okay, we're getting real close now. Almost there. Let's hope we're not too late. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay. Oh, now, are these fresh or was this me? Ooh, wee. Damn. The door's blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. I can't believe this is going to be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust and junk. Oh. Oh. Hi. I did kill him. Just impacts. You know, Jack, if you would slow down a little bit. Like, I can, I can handle the... Like, I, I can handle the... Oh, hey. The raiders, if you want. Oh, stairs. Okay. Uh, I guess Jack's doing a reasonable job. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, this will be fun. On this side of the wall, and then suddenly on... This side of the wall. Oh, I guess he was coming out of the thing. Hey, level up. Look at that. Have I ever gotten three levels in one episode before? Can I... Excuse me. Oh, what the... Why can't I go through this door? That was weird game was like, no, that door's still closed. Whether you want it to be or not. Sorry, Jack, I know you're having a real crisis right now. I'm just looking for any junk that might be lying around that would give me screws. Like this desk fan. Huh? Oh, no, I need the screws because I have to build some enormous guns to shoot down an airship? Uh, you know what? Don't worry about it. Jack, this building is labyrinthine. Oh, bummer. Oh, he's alive. That's good. You okay? I just need to rest here a minute. Well, good. I'm glad you're okay. You're pretty cool. There's bourbon. There's vodka. Don't know where Jack got stuck, but he's giving Edward, me an opportunity. There we go. How badly are you hurt? Oh, charisma. I could use that. Hell yeah. Finally make some speech checks. But I don't think I can get up. 
You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think... It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. The what? Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. I'm not going any further until you tell me what's going on. I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. Dog meat. You too. Yes. Oh, thanks, Edward. I, I dig you. So is this not already the abandoned part of the asylum? Like, this seems fairly abandoned. There. Haha, -ha, there. Oh, we're back here. I see. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Bye. What happened that launched that dude? Oh, hi. Ooh, two stims. Yes, please. Who's... Ah. Problematic. I can't reach them from here, but there appear to be stairs. Let me just say Blitz is unpredictable. Stim pack. Are you... You're fine. Desk fan. Yeah, not exactly the pushover that we were promised. Someone there? Get some, motherfucker! <laughs> you know, Jack is not good at. Oh my god. Jack is not good at stealth. You okay, Jack? Oh, hey. Anybody who attacks me is okay in my book if they have a stim pack while they're doing it. Oh, a hole. Jack, can you slow down? I know you're keen. Disappearing act. Huh? Wow, there's so many of you down here. Not you. There we go. Anybody else? Uh, there's a legendary raider around here somewhere. Oh, hi. Oh, oh did they mutate? Well, that didn't help them, did it? Powered metal right leg increases action point refresh speed. That's exciting. Okay, what's my right leg at the moment? Punishing reflects damage back to the attacker. Oh, I can easily replace that. Are they the same stats? This just increases AP refresh? Absolutely! Oh, sign me uh, the heck up. Buff out, good. Syringer rifle, interesting. Dog meat, could you move? I can do this all day. 
definitely Where'd the little bitch go? Buff out, good. Hey, we don't use insults like that around here. So I'm coming for you is what I'm saying. Being as this is an asylum in a video game, I'm sure we're up for some very tasteful environmental storytelling. I'll be a fucking coward, Hyde. What happened in this room? If I find you, I'm putting a fucking bullet in your head. I don't care if you're already dead. That legendary raider is very mad. Bobby pin box. Six more bobby pins for my infinite collection. How do I get in there? Oh, okay. What the hell was that? I'm surprised you heard that, honestly. Didn't even notice. My property. You are there we go. Stim pack right away. Nothing. Right away. At least it sure as hell looks that way. Boy, right Jack and those raiders are having a real, are having a real to do downstairs. Whoopsies. Ah, clipboard. More clipboards. Yes. This place is just full of screws. Bad axe. Bad. Dog meat. I hadn't. Thank you. Thank you, dog meat, for pointing out that medex. I really appreciate it. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, Jack's almost down. Pop the head right off. Crippling combat shotgun. Well, I don't want it, but I guess I'll take it. Now, Jack, you're you're running awfully far ahead. This will take us. Come on. Going down. It's the only way down. Where did you go? Where did you and Dogmeat disappear to? This is like a horror movie. What happened? Da! Da! Stop. Don't do that. D hey, Jack. We need to hurry. You are freaking me out, Jack. Basement. Cool looking place. First thing I see is, of course, this fan. Carrying too much? Is it because of all the garbage I'm picking up? Are we going in there? Hmm. Kapow! Those idiots are trying to shut down the Abremlin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. Excuse me? I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Get the break into the security doors. Hurry it up. You best hurry it up. My son is quite capable of stopping you if he gets in here. I'm opening the here. main door. Hurry. Get the Abrevalent field is locked. Hello. Oh. Yikes. I can feel my strength return. Ooh, four copies of the mysterious serum. That's cool. Take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door, 
and let me out. As soon as you set the Abramelin generators, I can end this. Well, this just sounds like a ton of fun either way. Think frankly. back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy one here? Well, I think you're both absolutely batshit, but uh, Agent of Chaos. Hello. Ah, at long last, you did the right thing. You'll see. Father, <clears throat> don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can! It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. And all the rest of them. How long have you been locked up in here? My loving son trapped me here in the year of our Lord, 1898, so... Uh, Almost 400 years. I think you were about to agree to helping me kill Jack and the rest of my traitorous kin, yes? Was I? What, was I ab about to agree to that? I never agreed to kill anybody. Why else would you have opened that door? There's only one way forward now. But don't worry. You will be rewarded. What Jack has taken from me, I will bestow upon you freely. The gift of immortality. But first, I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will congregate. Okay, but I don't want to have to walk all the way there. I walked all the way here and it sucked. How do you still have whiskey? It's been 400 years. Uh, is this a magazine? Let's go. I don't know what that was. Perfect. Surgical journal. Permanently inflict plus two percent limb damage. That sounds great. Oh, a globe. There's screws in that globe. Well, I'm sure this will end up fine. This will be fine. I gotta make my way back out of here. Where did... how did Lorenzo get out? What was that big noise? Did he just like... bust through a wall out here, or... I don't, know. I don't typically acknowledge Adam as the editor of these episodes, but... I feel like he would be on my side with letting that dude out. It's not the same as the jar question. I'm just going to put that out there right now. And Adam will back me up on this. That is not the same thing. I also think Adam would have let that guy out. But maybe I'm wrong. He can tell me in text. I wonder how they got that guy to stay in here in 1898. That seems pretty impressive. Anyway, how do I leave? Oh, it's just like this. Now, technically, wow, there's so many dead people around here. Technically, the asylum was all that was on Agatha's list. So, I mean, that's checked off now. But I feel like I want to see where that goes. I feel like I'm going to still be fighting Lorenzo. If he threatens to attack everybody, just because he seems like it'd be a more interesting fight. Have you lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? Oh, hi. I wasn't sure who was telling the truth, you or him. And now he's coming here to kill all of us. Are you satisfied? This is my fault. I hired this Whoa. idiot and she betrayed you. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just kill you right now. Don't you want my help? The problem is, I don't know whose side you're on. Based on what you did back at Parsons, I have to assume Lorenzo's. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. That proves nothing. You could be here spying for Lorenzo. <gasps> oh my 
Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? Oh, she is younger now. This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you Doc, did you just open escaped. that door? Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent! You know I would never. <sighs> well, while Mom throws Jack under the bus, I'm just going to... Uh, I think I might need a bit of help with this. Let's have that. Oh, I'm addicted to all psychochems. Cool. Agatha's in the corner just chowing down on beans. Oh, bring it! Me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your Hung pathetic, me. How did you do worthless that? lives. <laughs> That is now over. Your time is up. Get into the other room. There. If you just... If I keep him back here... There. Perfect. If I just keep him... Stunlocked back here... None of that. Picked up a gun. Hi. Alright, well, I guess I'll just refresh that then. I was under the impression that I could defeat Lorenzo and then the Cabots would be cool with it, but evidently not. That is now over. Your time is up. But apparently, I have to kill the Cabots, so. Eh, it's not how I wanted this to go, but. Like I said, Agent of Chaos. Well, that was weird. Lorenzo, Whoa, who let you inside? How did you even fit through the door? A Zeta gun. Neat. <clears throat> well, that's done. Thank you for your assistance. What are you going to do now? Well, it seems that things have changed while I've been away. I have so much to learn. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. If you like dirt, radiation, and random violence, you're in for a treat. You're looking at things the wrong way, my friend. The old world's luxuries were paid for by an infinity of rules and restrictions. There was no room for a truly creative mind to flourish. Now, however, there's nothing to stand in my way. Or yours. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promise to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply as needed. But remember, this is my gift. To you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything.
Oh, you know what? I will actually. I'll grab this wine, this whiskey, and oh my god. <laughs> Just goes over, sits down beside the bodies of his family. Yes? What can I do for you? Oh, uh, you're fine. You're fine. I think... I think you're doing just fine. I, th I feel bad about Edward, but no, you're, you're doing... you're doing just fine. I was curious about the ancient artifact you always wear. Jack spent so many futile years trying to understand this. I could have told him everything he wanted to know. Through it, I commune with the ancient minds that founded our civilization. Whether they live within it, or it communicates with them through time or space, or whether it simply holds their memories, I don't know. What I do know is that it has widened my horizons beyond the tiny scope granted to normal men. I spent my long captivity exploring the memories of the ancients, their arts and sciences, their philosophy and worldview. Did you need something else? No, I'm fine. Never mind. Hmm. Anyway. Trying out all the chairs. Good call. Anyway. How about a... Uh, hop. Hmm. Hey, where'd you get that sword? That's cool. Stop Fusro dying me, my guy. I think this whole family is a problem. Thanks for the help, dog. Oh no! The stairs! Your family's your family's secret technique. Oops, sorry, dog meat. That was totally unintended. So I can take his suit, but not the artifact of immense <laughs> power? Oh, that seems like a terrible thing to just leave lying around. Oh, well. Wait, dog meat. Didn't I see you come into the bathroom and then appear upstairs? How did you do that? Well, yes, I will look in the basement. Got any desk fans or clipboards? Where did I get this pipe sniper rifle? Get out. Oh yes, right. Level up. More luck. Get those critical hits recharging even faster than before. Whoop. Why do you have a fat man just sitting in your... Whose room is this? Very odd. Now, I believe I got... a password from Imogen. So I'm curious where... that is relevant. Man, that explosion really rocked the whole house, which makes sense. Right. I forgot that <laughs> the strength was buff out related. Clipboard. Clipboard. Undamaged cigarettes. Oh, what's this? Another Massachusetts Medical Journal. More limb damage. You know me, I'm here for the limb damage. A fan. Some psycho. 
and Nuka Cola. Rad X. Kind of weird that she has a postman's uniform in her suitcase there. It's one of her friends, I assume. Ammo, 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 Molotov. And a clipboard. You know, we've made out like clipboard bandits this mission. So that's, that's pretty good. Oh, hey. Yes, one more on the way out. Is that another Zeta gun? Neat. Uh, well. That seems to be everything. Sorry about the giant smoldering robot in the front hall, I guess. Goodbye, you weird family. So quiet outside Cabot House, not being menaced by that enormous sentry bot. Sigh. Anyway, time for the Minutemen to remove the Brotherhood of Steel. All right, well, I guess we do that. Although, I did have one other thing on the list. I guess I need a stiff drink beforehand because I'm carrying too many things. Let's have an entire rum, shall we? And probably some buff out. Oh, swan! Dog meat, don't be an idiot. Actually, wait a sec. Let's get that sneak attack damage. <laughs> what? Well, uh, there we go, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. Excellent. Swan boat fragments. What? <laughs> what the hell? Swan boat fragments. Well. Boy, that was anticlimactic. Tasted swan, I guess. <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. Uh, let's try this new fist on for size. <laughs> oh, that's very cool. All right. Well, time to blow up an airship. Preston. Preston, I have so much junk. In... in my trunk. Preston, I'm making hilarious jokes over here, Preston. Pre Preston. Ah, oh, whatever. Ah, much better. Turns out all the weight that I'm carrying is in my... medical supplies. <laughs> Which, which makes sense. So I gotta go make more artillery. Here's one. Oil. Okay, what am I? Screws, I'm good. Gears, springs, steel, concrete, wood. Oil. Oil. All right, well, I think I can buy some oil at good neighbor. Good neighbor. Yeah? I hope you're buying. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living after all. Ah, good. Oil, please. Wow, that's so expensive. Why, why oil so expensive? Whoa. 17,000? How are you supposed to get that many caps? I mean, that sounds like a great grieve. 
that I would like, but that's so much money. You don't have any cannonballs, do you? Oh, you do. I'll take 10 cannonballs, please. Thank you. Visit a workbench, power arm station, or workshop to redeem your shipment. Okay, I, I figured it out. Brief, brief corroboration with the internet tells me that the shipment, I just take it to a workbench and dismantle it, and then it turns into oil. Weird, weird way of handling. Ah, no. <laughs> I've dealt with you enough today. So do I just put this in there? That should do it. Right? Hey, it worked. Yeah, now we've got tons of oil. Okay. Well, terrific then. Put it right there. Slightly clipping through the ground. Perfect, perfect. And another one over in this corner. No, nope, just, 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 no, can't. Hold on. I'm sure there's a way this works. Just, not quite there gonna fall off the wall I mean sure I can just put it there but like you have this thing specifically for this to go on so I may as well just put it great there we go uh, one over here and I need more steel and more gears but that's I need one more? Oh, I have misunderstood and done myself a great disservice. Hang on. I'm not going around to get all those materials again, so I have to build in different locations. Uh, so if I... I can build one in Sanctuary? He said. Quizzically. Sturgis, this is gonna be... You're not Sturgis. Oh, hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? I mean, if it's not too much effing trouble, Carla, yes. To browse. Always happy to make a sale. You don't sound it, but I'm glad you're here. Since I know I'll need gears. Now does this seem like a good place to put a giant artillery? Does this seem like a fine place? Let's do it. Now did that count? No. Preston, you've done it again. You've absolutely befuddled me. One minute, 37 seconds later. I've realized the problem. At least it's not raining. All right, this here. No, wait, come back. Uh, Codsworth, I don't suppose you count in this instance, do you? Oh, you do, great. Codsworth, you're in charge of this gun. Okay, okay. Well, now I've just got to go build... Can't bring up my Pip-Boy. <laughs> now I've just got to go build... I can't bring up my Pip-Boy. Can I bring up my Pip-Boy yet? No. There. Why? All right. Uh, Ten Pines Bluff. That looks like a great place to build an artillery unit. Uh, yeah. Let's build one. Oh, there's no workshop here. So I don't have access to all of my materials. Interesting. Okay, but what about, uh... Outpost Zimonja? had a workbench. 
Somebody's shooting at something, and I don't much care. Hi. Oh, some kind of bad dog. Strange. Hey, uh... I'm gonna build... Can you all take care of that while I try to build this enormous gun? No, I still don't have the stuff. What on earth? So I need to go back to Sanctuary and get... Okay, what actually do I need? I hope you're all having a great time. I'm gonna... Oh, there's just one raider. Hi. This is gonna be What's up? Uh, meet my new thing. <laughs> Goodbye. Ow, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, that was a big bang. And so was that. Yeah, this new, uh, new gun works out pretty nicely. So I believe I have to go back to Sanctuary, bring all the materials with me, then I can go around building these things. Oil, screw, gear, spring, steel, concrete, wood. Sure. I definitely thought that workshop junk was shared between locations, but here we are. Okay, let's see if this works. Awesome. Great. What a silly system. Uh, let's put it right here. Hey, are you doing anything? Guess what? You're in charge of this now. Sure. Thank you. Did that count? Why didn't that one count? You think we can really take out the Brotherhood's airship with this artillery? Yeah, once Preston thinks it's viable. Why didn't that count? Uh... Let's try our friends at Oberlin Station. Hey there, Oberlin Station. Uh, would you like an artillery? I have that for you. But I don't have enough concrete. But that's okay. Because... I can get some... by... scrapping... something around here that's concrete. He said optimistically. Let's try Somerville Place. Alright, this place surely has something I can scrap for concrete. Like this. Perfect. Sorry about your campfire, but I need it for gun. Here is gun. Now I need person to talk to gun. You are assigned to food. You're a child, you're assigned to food. Uh, you are assigned to food. Anybody else around here? Anybody not assigned to food? No? Well, guess what? It's your lucky day. You're being assigned to gun. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so that one counted, but the one at the other place didn't count, and I don't know why. Scrap car, get steel. Am I ever glad to see you? We could really use a hand. Get to the point. What... what do you need? A pack of feral ghouls has wandered in nearby. I'm on it. I'll be glad to have them gone. Cool, that's not happening right now, but sure. It also may never happen. Where is the workbench? Here it is. Spring. Each 
One of these things needs 16 steel. Four wood. Oh yeah, that boathouse. Boathouse. Short concrete again, huh? Anything around here I can scrap for concrete? Yes. That looks like a wall of cinder blocks over there. Six. Perfect. That's all I needed. We'll put this gun... Uh, here. Where it's nice and handy. Uh, oh, where'd you go? I saw that there was someone here. And I need to make you use the gun. There you are. You. Gun. Awesome. Well, now I have to go back to Castle, Sanctuary, Taffington Boathouse, Somerville Place, but this one doesn't count. Well, then I'm going to go and steal their gun and take it to a different place, I guess. Hey, I appreciate your keen attitude. Uh, but I'm going to take this gun now. Can I not take the gun? Oh, there we go. Nope. It... Oh, I can move the settler. That's interesting. No, I don't need to do that. Command. You can be off that. And then this. Sure. No, no, stop. Here, off. And then this store. Hold up. What? Why did that go down? Wait, come back. Okay. I don't understand what's going on. The quest started at 20%. Meaning it was already counting the one at the castle. You know what this greenhouse needs? A big old gun. Oh, all I need is some concrete. That seems fine. That's probably doable. Right? Get out of my way. Anything in here scrappable for concrete? I need but a single concrete. Please, anything at all. Okay, quickly back to Taffington Boathouse. I'm glad we're finally taking the fight to those brotherhood bastards. I'm awesome that you are happy with that. Dogmeat, I don't care what you found. I'm just coming here to steal a wall. Great, concrete. Also concrete. Quickly to the workbench. Give me your concrete. Back to Green Top. Howdy, simple farmers. Who wants to have a gun? Gotta put it right here. Right in the middle where it's annoying. Uh, sorry. You are now on gun. Got it. There. We did it. Finally. Launch artillery strike on Pridwin. You say, like, that's a simple thing. Uh, I guess I'll go back to the castle and talk to Preston? Oh, yeah. Preston, it took me way too long, but I built all the gun. Oh, talk to this guy. General, all the settlements are reporting in. We're ready to fire at the Brotherhood airship on your order. Uh, 
Yeah. Great. Give the signal to open fire. Yes, ma'am. The artillery is ready, General. The radio operator at the castle is standing by to transmit the order the to fire on the privy. <laughs> Preston, you're standing right there, and I literally Phoenix. just told Code him blue. to do it. But all right. Deliberate Phoenix. Code blue. On my signal. All right, I will tune in to Radio Call Freedom back. begrudgingly just to listen to this. That's a nice airship. Be a shame if something happened to it. Actually, no, what's the opposite of a shame? It'd be great if something happened to it. This is great. Nice. Hold on. Nice. Let's see if they have any fight left in them. Uh, well, I doubt it, considering everybody on the Pridwin was dead. Oh, here comes some angry vertebrates. Okay. Well, I guess we'll punch all these folks to death, but I do like that we've neatly bookended this with two massive explosions. Alert. Alert. Brotherhood vertebrates converging on the castle. Are they? All right. I mean, come on over, I suppose. Just waiting for anyone to get out of there. There they are. Oh yeah, this is gonna go great. Hey, what's up? Kaboom! <laughs> uh, we're just one-shotting Brotherhood of Steel now. I'm addicted to Psycho, aren't I? I should have some Psycho. I forgot about that. Great. <laughs> oh. Just absolutely dismantling Brotherhood. Goodbye. Oh, more. Hold up. Just absolutely dismantling. Uh, can you please... Thank you. Oh, more knights. That's what I'm here for. Who are... <laughs> Where did you come from? Are you left over from the previous thing here? Why... What the heck? The second you are targetable, you are, you are toast. Legendary Brotherhood Knight Captain. In one hit. that clip. Yeah. 
All right, we got the pilot. What does that do? Oh, hell. Okay, that was good, I think. Oh, hi. <laughs> Legendary, you say. Mutant Slayer's 50 cal sniper rifle. Neat. Well, here comes more friends for the party. That first guy survived a couple hits. Kaboom! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! There we go. Legendary Brotherhood Knight Captain. Away from the exploding dudes. Yeah, when they explode, they go. Oh, ow, that really hurt. What happened there? Oh, I think guess that was a vertebrate, hey. Holy crap. Oh god, we're only halfway through. This could get scary. Ah, I'm gonna drop some more friends off? I would welcome that. Let's do this! Yes, add Victorian indeed. Wait, I can just hit the vertebrate? Oh, let's try this. <laughs> I could just hit the vertebrate! Why hadn't I been trying that? Oh no. Going forward, I will be punching any vertebrates that dare land. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, that's very good. Oh! That, there we go. No more pilot. See, it doesn't kill them, but they're frozen, so they fall right out of the... Oh god, get inside. Only slightly head crippled as a result of that vertebrate crashing into the place. Oh, yes, come on down. No, no, no. The vertebrate, thank you. Goes. Can't see anything. Ninety percent. Just gonna take a dip inside here and stem up real quick. I hear one more vertebrate out there. And I don't know where they're going or what's they're, what they're doing. I think they're going away? It's very hard to tell what they're doing, actually. Short controlled bursts! Short controlled bursts? Yeah, no, I agree with you, Preston. Like... You know, broadly speaking, I don't know what you want me to do with that information at this particular moment in time. No, man, I got nothing. What? Like, I don't know. This seems pretty defended. Oh, here it is. Now my buff out's worn off, so I'm... There we go. Oh, there it is. We got it. It was a tough fight, but I knew the mid wait. Something's wow, it out really there. blew up. Something's out there.
found you. Oh, hey. Don't try it. Preston, come back. I'm supposed to talk to you. Preston. Preston? <clears throat> we actually did it. We took down the Pridwin. Hell yeah, we did. Admit, I didn't really think it would work. I never doubt Sturgis. Not anymore. Oh. I know. I know. The guy built a freaking teleporter, right? I guess he wins all the arguments from here on out. Still, I can hardly believe we defeated the Brotherhood. All their technology and military hardware couldn't defeat the people of the Commonwealth standing together. It's a good lesson to remember. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. Don't. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Well. I mean, I guess that's it. We've checked off everything on Agatha's extensive list of grudges. Well, here's the burning wreckage of the Pridwin, and you know what? I'll drink to that. Oh, that's very on fire. Let's not go in there. And that's not the only massive explosion we've caused today. Because we also made this enormous hole where the CIT building used to be. This enormous hole is very radioactive, which I guess doesn't surprise me. Oh, and it makes a radiation storm. So that's Jesus. Hang on. Dog meat, I wouldn't go in there. It looks, um, oh gosh. I think we may have done a bad. Um, but hey, that's, uh... <laughs> wow. Uh. That is going to be the end of our quest here with Agatha Fisty and the Commonwealth and Fallout 4. Now, I know what you're saying. I am aware there is DLC for this game. Currently, at time of recording, I have no plans, nothing to announce. Please don't keep an eye out. It's been some number of years to get you this, but I wanted to at least have this amount of closure. I've always said, you can check my tweets, don't, but I've always said, you know, Fisty will beat the game, and we've done that. So, you know, I'm not going to say this is the last we'll ever see of her, but currently... There are no plans, so don't uh, don't hold your breath. But I do really appreciate everyone who has asked about this over the years. Everyone who's been looking forward to watching it, to seeing more of it, to see Fisty return. I uh, I've had a blast doing this, so I really appreciate everyone who's enjoyed watching it. Big shoutouts to Adam for doing all the editing on the second batch of Fisty. It's been a lot of work for him, and I think he's done a fantastic job. So, shout-outs to you, Adam. And, yeah, thanks, everybody, for, um, for watching. Th thanks also to Kathleen and Heather for keeping on me to, to actually, like, get these recorded. Um... Everything we do is brought to you by you and your support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. So um, please consider that if you've enjoyed this. And uh, you can hit me up on Twitter at Graham underscore LRR to tell me all about it, I guess. Oh, look at that. The storm is over and the sun's coming through. All right. You know what? My radiation medication has worn off, but I think the Commonwealth is going to be okay. What do you think, dog meat?
yawn. All right, let's go have a nap. This is Agatha Fisty <laughs> signing off. <laughs>